Okay, Rhea, your dream finally come true. We are going to gain two garage spaces after today. <laughs> I'm so happy. I really want a fence. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And you know this guy? I'm Scott Huntsman. With, been, with dirty hands. Yes. Yeah, I've been working here already. I've been here 10 minutes and I've tuned up five cars. And you, you really were back there working on the I was, five yes, cars. yes. Oh, that thing, and that thing is cool. He yep. is a classic car guy. Well, he He's knows good. everything. The resto mods, the race cars, yep. uh, the old classics. I, I mean, I know for a fact because I've got one of viable. the oldest cars here in the auction. <laughs> in, actually, next to the oldest car in this auction, and it's for sale. And uh, I've got a fairly recent one, and Scott's the guy that makes them the best running two cars in this auction. That's exactly right. Because you own That's them what they too. are. You own classic. I do, yep. I've got classic cars too. I mean, it's such a cool vibe here. Right. And this is why I have them. I love participating in this kind of thing. It doesn't matter if it's an auction, a show, or what. Yeah. It's just a good time. And yeah. this is kind of like a car show, except that when you go, oh, I'd really like to have one. Well, in a few minutes, you can just walk right over to that barn and you can make that happen. That's right. Just open up your wallet and make it be. <laughs> That's right. Sign up. Make it so. so Throw the sign. That's right. Throw Roll the, sign. the sign. Just keep rolling the sign. Hey, if you're looking for me, that's where I'm going to be. That's uh -oh. what worries me, Rhea. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, when, we, uh, when we talked to Classic Cars US and said, hey, we'd love to come down and do the show, they said, well, great. It's our sixth annual show. And it's pretty big. I, there are over 100 cars here for sale. And Thanksgiving Point is the perfect place to do it. Oh, it yes. So beautiful. And the weather is beautiful. Right? Oh, 80 right. degrees. Wow. Yeah. Well, let's get started and let's find out what it is that uh, we're competing against. Let's do it. So this is probably the funnest day out of the entire year, at least for me anyway. Uh, we get to play classic cars all day long. Uh, we, we, we compile classic and collector cars from private individuals uh, who are looking to sell their cars. We put them together in an auction format, attract a great big huge crowd of people to the auction, and we have a live auction of classic and collector cars all day long. Somebody hand me a wrench, immediately. This is my baby right here. If I was born, you know, back in the 40s or the 50s, this would be like my date car. And I would like beg my mom and dad, please let me go out with him. <laughs> you know, this is amazing vehicle. And you know, they say like bigger is not better. Bigger is better. Check this out. These tires are like, these are very, very daunting. I would like to see this thing out on the rocks, climb. I just, you know, it looks good, but what does it do? It's just a wonderful opportunity for, for, for everybody out there to participate in the classic and collector car and motorcycle auction, whether it's as a buyer or as a seller. Scott, this is the most unique vehicle I have ever seen as far as a finish goes. This thing is an absolute work of art, Chad. I mean, I am so impressed with this whole thing because they start out with bare metal, yeah. retain all the rust, and then most unique, the torch, take a torch to the metal, discolor it, bringing out the, the browns, the grays, blue, even purples in there. This thing is a work of art, should be in a museum. I, I, I agree. Does that mean that this here is hardened steel because it's been tempered. It's, it's been tempered, yeah, exactly. Well, you know, all the surfaces are a little different. That's what's cool about this is it all flows, it works. Yeah, no, it does, it's yeah. great. Hey, have you seen Rhea? I haven't. It, the last time I saw Rhea, she was over there crawling under a car back over there. You might be in trouble, man. She was looking awful interested. Okay, well, well all right, let's find her. Uh, we're gonna go try and track down Rhea. Right now, it's time for you to go to this week's Where To. Let's go this way. All right. Rhea! Now there's a familiar face. <laughs> Welcome back to At Your Leisure. <laughs> you know, speaking of familiar faces, where's Rhea? I haven't seen I her. I don't know. I'm getting a little bit worried. Yeah, you might be in trouble with something else later, you yeah. know. I guess we'll have to see, but... That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> talking about this, though, seven grill slots. I mean, we know what we're talking about here. We got a CJ of some kind, 
but this is a scrambler and it is absolutely pristine. But what they gave the scrambler was an extended length rear bed, almost like a pickup in a way. Uh -huh. And so that was very popular, except to the rock crawlers. Uh -huh. We didn't like that tail dragon when we'd start up that steep hill, you know, but yeah. hey, the long wheelbase Jeep obviously proved to be the, uh, the times of the future because that's what we deal with right now. But this was a good stepping stone towards that. And this thing is just like brand new. I mean, this thing is just pristine. Little tidbit. Well, Ronald Reagan had one of these down on his ranch. <laughs> there you go. And I was a Reagan guy. So, yeah, me too. So <laughs> let's, figure, let's find out a little bit more about this auction because this really is the everyman's auction. Let's do it. Cars come in all shapes and sizes and qualities and values and, and conditions and everything else. So what gets written about are the cars on the very extreme, the, the very one of, one of a kind, only kind of ever produced, and that, that does go for big, huge dollars. The reality is most of the cars, classic and collector cars, are affordable for just about anybody who has an interest in them. Oh my gosh. This is the baby right here, 1968 Camaro. This is my car, okay, I have to ask my husband, honey, please, we need to sell the house, sell the business, and we're gonna live in our car, and this is gonna be the car we're gonna live in, because I love it. Woo! I got it, I got it! Woohoo! So we're based out of Billings, Montana. Uh, we started classic car auctions about 10 years ago. Salt Lake looked like a wonderful opportunity. We, we uh, six years ago, came down in our little road show and, and had a wonderful auction. And now we're at our sixth annual. Last year was, was an online only auction because of the pandemic. But this year we're back live. The seventh annual will be, it will be yet bigger and bigger and bigger. Can you imagine being married to an auctioneer? And you're like, hey honey, what do you want for dinner? And he's like talking that fast. And you're like, okay, coming right up. <laughs> See, this is one of those perfect examples that Craig was talking about. This is like a piece of affordable artwork. This thing is just cool. You know, for an 85 model Defender, Rhino line grill, trim work, it's got long arm, coil springs. I mean, this is a great vehicle because this thing is already prepared like for our type of jeeping, rock crawling. Yeah, but you know, if you had one that looked this nice, you certainly wouldn't want to take it on the rock. I would be a little nervous taking this one because this one is awfully shiny right here. There's you no know, the scratch in it. If I bought it, I would just go right out. As soon as I got it home, I'd take a can opener, just go down the side, and then I could enjoy it, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you go ahead and do that. I think, uh, I think I'd leave it in its good-looking position the way it is right now. But, you know, I got to try it out anyway. That's, but, but, Chad, you know, hey, I don't scratch my when I'm on the trail. Yeah, that's what, that's what he says. <laughs> anyway, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, right now it's time for us to leave our uh, tour here at the uh, Classic Car Auctions US Car Show and Auction down here in Thanksgiving Point, and we're off to our along the way. You know, Scott, this is right where we started the show. You, you were under the hood of this thing. I was doing a little tune-up on this thing, you know, so I'm, I'm real close with this Ford. Now, this 36.3 window, I somewhat almost think that it's black, but, you know, it's really got kind of a blue tint into it. I'm hoping the light kind of shows that up there. Beautiful Mustang 2 front end, Corvette rear end, and best of all, Chevy V8 under the hood. We're mixing it up. This is like a drag race today. Huntsman sees all the parts. All I see is a good looking 36 Ford. You know, that's just the way it is. <laughs> anyway, it's been a lot of fun being down here at yes. the Classic Car Auction.us six annual auction. There's still a lot of stuff going. We got to get back in there because do that. I've got a car coming up right away and there might be another one that I'm interested in. But right now there's business to do next week's show. Next week, Kevin and Gina are showing off the latest of the 50 trails in 50 weeks as they journey from the town of Joseph to Fremont Indian State Park. 
Then we get to join an exhilarating whitewater rapid adventure as we get a once in a lifetime look at what it takes to run with the rivers. Finally, we are headed to Mesquite to soak up some sun and join in the fun as our friends from Eagles Landing are hosting a charity golf tournament to benefit first responders. Well, Scott, next week's show looks great. Yeah, you know, when does it not? <laughs> it's uh, they're all, they're good all good. Show, they're right? all good. Wow. What do you think, honey? I have, I have to admit, of all 100 cars here, I think this is the most unique one. I love this one. Are you kidding? An auto union, the precursor to the Audi. It, I, no, I thought so, because it had the little four rings on the front yeah. grill. Yeah, well, yeah. you love it so much, because happy birthday, honey. We just got this baby. Yay. <laughs> well, I thought you wanted the garage empty. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is small enough we can park in the driveway. <laughs> That's why you got rid of the other two. Well, I I didn't think that was the plan originally, <laughs> but I, is that all you bought? No, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> I'm not saying a word. My lips are sealed. Yeah. Well, listen, we, what, whatever we're going home with out of this auction that we thought we were leaving, uh, we want to thank uh, the uh, Col uh, Classic Autos U.S. auction, the Classic Auto Auctions U.S., I got that right, for uh, letting us come down and film here today and letting me get rid of my car so that we can... You were so <laughs> impressed with these cars. You and as a mechanic, you loved them. Well, I told you which ones to get. Yes, I know. Okay. Listen to this guy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I was saying, like you're seeing the outside. I was so impressed yes. with how beautiful they look. But then you know the interior. You exactly. know, you know under what's under they the hood. They are just as beautiful on the inside. I, so cool. I would imagine that they are. And remember, there's adventure around every bend. You just got to get out there and create your own adventure. At, At your, your leisure. leisure. All right, Rhea, show me what you've done. It's right here, honey. <laughs>